Hey, what's up everyone? Game Dad here, and we are back with another monthly unboxing for Video Games Monthly. We have our box right here. It is still sealed and ready to be opened to find out what is inside of this. Now, for those of you that don't know, Video Games Monthly is a monthly subscription service where you can do a, uh, what is it, a 3-up, a 4-up, a 5-up, or a 10-up power pack. And each of those numbers corresponds with the games that you will get. Now, what you can also do is actually go through and give them your list so you don't get any duplicates. Now, sometimes, it's not always perfect, sometimes you'll get them, but VGM is always quick to take care of it and fix the issue and get it resolved. Now, I only subscribe to a couple of different systems on here because those are what I'm trying to complete right now, and that is the global set of N64 games and Wii U. Wii U is few and far between on here, especially when I only have, uh, what is it, 19 more games to complete the set, so I doubt I'll have anything like that, but, I think I got some N64 in here. So, we are going to open this up blind box style. I'm going to show you the game, show you some gameplay, and uh, give you my thoughts on the games. So, let's see here. We open this up, and I cannot see anything except you. We have the bubble wrap. Goodbye, bubble wrap. Uh, oh, we have a card. What, what is this? What's this thing? Uh, oh, this is the social media card. Now, what the social media card is, is a way for you to win a free 3-up box. You post about opening this uh, online on social media and share. You're entered into a drawing to win your very own 3-up box. So we'll put that to the side right there. And let's see, what else was in here? I felt something. It is a... Oh, what is this? Uh, it is King Boo riding some sort of beetle-looking cart thing. It's a Mario Kart... Uh, Temporary tattoo? Yeah, temporary tattoo uh, of King Boo. Now, do we have anything else like that in here? I'm feeling, I'm feeling. Let's see. I do the four up box. So let's see. One, two, three, four and 64 games. So I did not get a one up in this box, but let's see what I got. First up, we have, I don't know. Uh, ooh, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I don't have this, or if I do, it's a hollow one. Uh, this is Zelda Majora's Mask. Very nice. Import Majora's Mask. So, of course, here we have an absolute classic in Zelda Majora's Mask, the sequel to Ocarina of Time on the N64. And I do already have all of the versions for the North American set, so it's cool to have the import version of it now. But, I mean, you can even get this on Nintendo Switch Online, all kinds of stuff. And, hey, it is just, it's a fun game. I didn't personally care for it as much as Ocarina of Time, but it is still a fun game, and if you're into having the countdown mechanic and everything, then you'll probably really enjoy this game as well. And next up, what do we got? We have, whatever this is, you're seeing it before I am, it is Mahjong Master. There are so many import Mahjong games. It, it's kind of crazy. Like, I have a ton of these different ones. There was one uh, recently. It even had a, a modem in the top of it. That was kind of cool. But this is Mahjong Master. Next up here, we have Mahjong Master. And honestly, I don't really know much of what to say about this. It's another Mahjong game. I mean, this one looks pretty fun. It looks a little more kind of cartoony than some of the other Mahjong games that look a little more serious in their graphics. But overall, I mean, it's just another Mahjong game. Cool. And next up, what do we got? We have, oh, here we go. We're going to face it that way first. And then I'm going to look at it. Uh, this is Snowbo Kids. Actually, mm, I'm pretty sure I have this one. Uh, and yeah, this is Snowboard Kids 1 import, but I'm pretty sure I have this one already. So we're going to have to check the list and who knows, maybe we'll have to uh, hit up VGM and see if we can get another game sent out. In my experience, I have been a subscriber well over a year. They do not give me these boxes. They don't pay for me to do reviews or unboxings or anything, but they have always taken care of me anytime there has ever been an issue. So we'll double check, but I'm pretty sure I have this one already. And uh, if I do, then we'll just hit them up and see what can be done about it. And here we have Snowboard Kids. Super fun game. Snowboard Kids 1 and 2 are actually both really fun, uh, in my opinion at least. And this is the import version of the game. Now, it's not anything like an Amped or an SSX Tricky or anything like that, but it is still a really fun snowboarding game. The controls really aren't that bad, especially considering the single stick uh, layout of the N64. But yeah, super fun game. And I mean, if you like snowboarding and you like this style of graphics, then you'll probably like this game. And last up, we have, I think last up, yep, last up, box by, we have whatever this is. Uh, Wayne Gretzky's 3D Hockey 
import. Very nice. And last up here, we have Wayne Gretzky's 3D Hockey. Now, this game on N64, it's okay. I'm not a huge hockey fan uh, or just like sports game fan in general. But overall, I mean, it plays well. It does what it's supposed to do. I, from what I've heard from people that actually enjoy sports games is things from more of the 16-bit era were a lot more fun than the 64-bit era. But... You know, I mean, it, it's a hockey game. If you like Wayne Gretzky, you like hockey games, you might like this one. And we are back after taking a look at those games. Now, I did go ahead and go through my list, and I did discover, yes, I do have the import copy of Snowboard Kids. Now, I don't really fault them for it, because not only is it not called Snowboard Kids, it's called Snowbo Kids, and not only is it called that, it's called Chow Snowbo Kids. So if they were looking and they were like, oh yeah, Snowboard Kids, they would have had to look in the C's instead of the S's in my list. So I don't really blame them, but I am going to hit them up to see if we can get a different cart sent out now. But with that said, although three of the games are ones that I didn't have before, and one of them was Majora's Mask, which is definitely a higher value game, I, the others are just pretty common games, and honestly, via price charting, uh, the total as of recording was only $45.73. So this month... It didn't even cover the cost of the box, but it has been a long time since that has happened. Most of the time, the value is either way higher or it's pretty on par. I don't remember which box it was, but I had one in the last few months where the value was like triple what the box cost. One of the games was like a $95 game. It was crazy. But this month, the value not really there with the exception of yes, it's completing my collection more, uh, and it gave me a Zelda game, which, you know, I mean, I always love a Zelda game. But if you all like this video and you want to check out another VGM unboxing, then go ahead and look right here, and you will see the video popping up for your viewing pleasure. And as always, I'm Game Dad. I thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you later.